what's up tamers my name's ty and today i'm going to be talking about an interesting little fun deck that uh, i don't think a lot of people are going to talk about and uh yeah so if you don't know uh my name's ty uh i've been making i've been making digimon content for a couple months now it's been a ton of fun uh if you love digimon and you love the card game uh definitely uh give this one a like um, subscribe if you're new and you want to keep seeing it because I'm going to keep making this stuff on the gold 200 subs and um, so this deck it really uh, applies to the people who love the anime if you watch the show you're gonna like this deck so we are going to be making a Gomamon deck all the Gomamon line and Joe uh, if you watch the anime this is Joe's Digimon uh, part of the Digidestin so uh, and I'm kind of giving that, you know how in Pokemon you can only evolve a Charmander onto a Charmeleon? I'm kind of basing that. I know Digimon doesn't have that restriction, but um, it's making it fun for deck building to make it that way. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this one. All right, so this is it. This is going to be it. If you like Joe, and Joe is your favorite character of the show, um, and you love Gomamon, because I thought Gomamon was funny with the pair of Joe, but do I think Joe was my favorite? No. Um, but if it is and he's your favorite or Gomamon's your favorite comment down below let me know and uh, and if it isn't let me know who your favorite is because uh, it's fun seeing what everyone likes to get started into this deck list we're gonna start with the babies we're running four of the uh, Bakumon Bakumon um, he's the only this is the only Bakumon we have so I can't do a five of for eggs because I'm sticking with the Gomamon line this is Gomamon's baby. Uh, when attacking, trash the bottom card of one of your opponents level four or lower Digi Evolution. This is playing to, into that blue theme of getting rid of Digi Evolution. Uh, this one's anything four or lower, it will get rid of. So that's the baby we're running four of. Next, we are running four of the Gomamon. Uh, this Gomamon's from BT1. Uh, it's inheritables on deletion gain of memory. A lot of like Imperiodmon use this, Rookie Rush use this, especially they paired it up with the Leomon and BT1. Um, yeah, it's a, he's a good card. It's a good inheritable. You can't, I mean, it's always nice to have that. Um, next, we are playing uh, this Gomamon from BT2. Uh, when you play this card from your hand, reduces memory cost by one for each of your opponents. No Digi Evolution. So, in a sense, you could play this one for free. Uh, will that happen 100% of the time? I don't know. But um, he's a Gomamon, so he's in there. But no inheritable. If you can play a level three for free, pretty much, you can't beat that. Next, we are running the vanilla two drop Gumbamon where he's building a sand castle. Um, he's Gumbamon, he's in there, and he's a two vanilla. 3k two drop, you can't beat that. Um, the If you can always fit these in your decks, you're going to want to because they just add a lot of value in the game. Yeah, they have no inheritable or anything, but just being able to memory, be more memory efficient, it's always nice. Next, we are running this Gomamon, where uh, he's a promo, and when you trash, uh, you gain a memory. Uh, a lot of people are going to be using this in Hexablamon decks, because there's also a card in BT5 that does the same thing. It's just not the promo Gomamon. We're running the Gomamon version. But yeah, there you go. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, we are running 16 level 3s, and they're all Gomamon. So... Moving on to the next one, and to the level 4s, we are running Ikakumon. Sorry, if you watch the show, that's how he sounds. Um, <laughs> but uh, his inheritable is uh, this Digimon can't be blocked by an opponent with no Digi Evolution. A lot of times, people hard cast blockers to stop from losing the game. This card lets it not affect you at all, so that's super nice. I think I never realized what that like. I never really sat down and looked at this card, but I think this could have a ton of value in any blue. Honestly, um, be not being able to. Especially with Hexablamon, this card might be really good. Uh, next, we're running this out, Ikakumon for BT2. Uh, when attacking, trash the top card of one of your opponents' Digi Evolution. Super nice. It's just playing into that theme and getting rid of Digi Evolution. Uh, next, we're running this guy. I know it's not Ikakumon. Um, until they add an, um, until they're adding a blocker that's themed with the Digi Destin guys. Uh, I have to run blockers. If you don't run blockers, it's not really, ha it's not going to work. Um, Sarah's mom was probably the only one that could pull that off, but, uh, he's one to evolve blocker standard blue got him in BT five. He's in there. 
All right, so so that's the level. Uh, that's level fours. Uh, we run twelve. Now we're running, going into level fives. Uh, first level five is Zudomon. Um, the Kakumon's evolved form. Uh, when did you evolve? Trash two Digi Evolution cards with the bottom one of your opponent's Digimon. Playing into that value. There we go. Um, next one is the on play trigger draw two. Uh, do I think this is the best card? It's a seven cost. Yeah, you are getting two cards. And blue usually plays a lot of um, being able to draw. And this deck doesn't have that ability. So adding that value of drawing cards is, is pretty nice. Um, and his inheritable is awesome. Uh, if your opponent's Digimon has no evolution sources, you gain a memory when he attacks. So that's nice. And gaining memory is always cool. And that is the level fours or level five. Sorry, uh, we're running eight. Now we are going into the level sixes. Uh, this is when this stuff gets a little hard because they don't have a lot of level sixes for the Digi Evolution line, and that is Vike Vikemon. I looked it up on the internet because I wasn't sure. I wanted to double check, but he's the final. He is the mega version of uh, Gomamon. Um, and on on his turn, if you have a if your opponent has a Digimon with no Digi Evolution sources, you get the, you get to the thousand, so he goes to a thirteen k, and he gets Security Attack plus one, which is super nice. So, running four of him because he's the only one. Uh, now we're gonna run into the options. We're running Hammer Spark. It's just nice. It works out that Hammer Spark is uh, Zudamon's move. He's on the cover, so it's super nice. He's right on the picture. So if I wanted to be a real stickler about it, there we go. But I'm not. But there he is. Uh, next, uh, next option card we're gonna run is this Absolute Blast. Um, this came out in BT5. This is uh, trash the bottom of one of your opponent's Digi Evolution, then return one of your Digimon, one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digi Evolution sources to the bottom of their deck. Um, I think it just adds to what the deck does. The deck gets rid of Digi Evolution. You play this option card, you get to pretty much trash one just in case, and then ship it to the bottom. I think that's a, a nice little addition. We're running a Gomamon deck. We're going to run Joe. And this Joe is, uh, if your opponent has a card with no Digi Evolution, um, or sorry, when one of your uh, opponent's Digimon's Digi Evolution is trash, you gain a memory from this tamer. Um, that's going to happen. Pretty much at every level, something does that. So it's going to happen. I run him at two of. And then we're running the Sora and Joe combo. Uh, if your opponent has one with no Digi Evolution, you gain two memory. So um, there's no memory tamer for Joe. Um, so this is your best bet. This is the the most this is how you're going to get to three because they put you to one but they have one with no digi evolution you gain two memory and if you're whatever you're at it's just nice it's a nice little um addition uh and then when you attack with a blue digimon you may suspend this tamer to trash two of the digi evolution to one of them adding to that value of what blue does best of getting rid of stuff all right so this is the joe deck this is uh this is my joe themed gomamon deck if you like the deck uh, and like the list Think about giving this video a like or commenting down below uh, if you want to play this deck or try it out because I'd love to see if people actually want to do do this type of stuff. Um, I think what's going on on YouTube, there's so much talking about what's best in the meta, what's this, what's that. Uh, it diminishes people from just enjoying the game. And I love deck building. It's so much fun. Um, it's, love, it's fun just getting a character, getting an idea, and trying to make it happen. So um, this... This is a prime example of decks that are just fun to play or fun to build. Um, so if you just want to try out a deck, I'm pretty sure most of this stuff is relatively cheap. M maybe not the promo Gomamon, the one that you know gains a memory when you trash something. Um, but the rest of it, I, th I feel, is relatively cheap. Cheaper, at least. Um, and it will probably be fun to play. So, yeah, if you try this deck out, comment down below. If you're new and you enjoyed the video, subscribe. You know, we're on the gold 200. 200 gang I'm trying to get up there it's gonna be awesome if we get to 200 subs i'm gonna be pumped all right well stay safe have fun catch you guys all in the next one and p.s watch out for pebbles peace